What's up, everybody? It is December 28th, five games late. Uh, nobody ever really cares about Thursdays, but lots of crazy, crazy value out there right now, and it could be even weirder depending on how this Magic game breaks. Um, 7 o'clock start, unfortunately. I wish we could have got a little bit later start with that Magic Pistons game, but whatever. We're going to want to have a part of that game, um, so let's just dive in. First up is the Magic, 105.25 implied total. Um, this is made up too many guys uh, out or questionable, you know, half of the Magic, and then now Reggie Jackson is out. Um, so let's take a look at the Magic to start. Take a look at the Magic to start. <clears throat> So I've had a couple of people asking me what this, some of this data is because I'm bouncing around so fast. Um, it's the shooting frequency table from cleaning the glass. Let's me know where individuals uh, take their shots from. And I have the team stats in a table over here and I can just you know quick copy paste that earlier in the day. So that drags through. So up here is like the team the opponent. So this is uh, the Pistons frequency chart, and this is saying they give up corner threes 10% higher than league average. Green means they're good at it, uh, like red means they're not. So it's tough to really focus on the magic because there's no real way to know what's going on, but right out of the gate, there's one guy who reigns supreme, and that is Bismack Biombo, particularly on DK. Um, his salary has not gone up enough to counteract or to you know to show that he is now the starter with Booch out. So I wouldn't go like I don't think it's super interesting. You know I shouldn't limit it. Um, it's both sites, but on DK he's only forty six hundred. It's a no-brainer. I mean, so he needs... Let's just say 27 for 6x on DK. Um, you know, he could have five blocks, and he only needs to have a smattering of rebounds and points to get there. So just full stop, you definitely want to look at Biombo and on DK especially. He's okay on FanDuel, but he's not like the lock it down type guy that he is on DK. Then from there, I think Jonathan Simmons' salary is a little too high. It's sort of built on the fact that he is, um, he was taking on a bigger role with everyone out. I don't trust Gordon. Um, I don't particularly have any interest in Fournier. Um, it's not the best total if my projections are correct. I can see going after Alfred Payton on DK. Seventy four hundred on FanDuel, sixty eight hundred on DK. Um, you know, he's a guy that should be better if better guys are out there with him. He's got a decent price on DK, and not that Reggie Jackson is uh, a lockdown defender or anything, but removing him and dropping down a level to Ish Smith, who I don't think uh, can guard Alfred Payton, and then, you know, more Langston Galloway or something, um, I'm willing to take a, a run at Alfred Payton. I'm going to play with the short list too um, and start sort of ranking guys in tiers. That way, when I do an optimization, I can sort of see, you know, the guys that I want the most in the most amount of lineups. So look for that in the new year. Uh, I'm going to try to do a lot of stuff now after this Christmas season is finally over. So go Magic. Um, now we'll head to the Pistons. And the Pistons have the 8th highest implied total on the night per my made-up numbers. But this will be the first of two separate point guard 
swaps tonight. Um, this one is less interesting than the other one that we'll talk about. So we know we need to look at Ish Smith. Um, and I think that we can look at Drummond and Tobias Harris. And probably Langston Galloway. So first up is Ish Smith. Ish is 5,500 on FanDuel, 4,900 on DK. Uh, he's going to be the starter, so you know you want a decent chunk of him. He's not the best point guard play on the day, but he's probably second. Drummond is 9,500 on FanDuel, 9,400 on DK. Um... Drummond will get a lot of Biombo, which is probably worse than having Vooch. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, I mean, given the two, I'd take Biombo because of his price, and I would never take both. So... Mm, that's a tough one. I don't really like it. Fantasy Cruncher loves him tonight. I think that's just a little too pricey for me. Tobias Harris is 7,400 on FanDuel, 6,600 on DK. Um, I think that he looks pretty good on DK at that price. And now Galloway is 4,400 on FanDuel, um, 3,800 on DK. I think that uh, I think that's a pretty good spot for him on DK if you want, um, you know, like an interesting punt, some differentiation in a tournament. You don't want a lot of him, but I think that you know he could be a an interesting GPP guy tonight. Celtics and Rockets, um, this is another made-up line, and honestly, I have no idea where to go with this. You know, Chris Paul could play. All the Boston dudes could play. It's in Boston, so I think this is going to be a, a, high, a relatively high-scoring game, and both teams should grade out pretty well, but I had a lot of trouble figuring out a total for this. So, um, no Capella, so we should be getting a decent uh, Nene game, I guess. I don't know. I like Horford. <clears throat> I think we need to look at Tatum and Brown. I'm assuming Brown plays. Oh, I put Langston Galloway all the way down at the end. I guess that doesn't really matter. All better. Kyrie, 8,600 on FanDuel, 8,000 on DK. Um... Not my favorite spot in the world for him. Although, if Chris Paul doesn't play, I think that I would want to have a lot of Kyrie. I, I could see him really enjoying this game. Um, you know, actually, I do kind of like him. I'm fine with that, actually. He needs 43 on FanDuel. I know that's pretty much where he is every time. You know, 34 here. I, last two haven't been great, but three straight 40-point games there. This feels like a bigger Kyrie game. Horford, 7,100 on both sites. Um, there's going to be better values out there. Tatum and Brown, 5,700 on FanDuel for both of them. A little bit less than that on DK. 
How have they been playing? I know Brown's been out. Tatum, decent games. A couple, you know, a couple 30-pointers. I'm okay with Jason Tatum. I don't want a bunch of him, but he's fine. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fade off of Brown. I think Terry Rozier on FanDuel is still in play. He's even with Brown back. He's been playing enough minutes that it's like he's a sneaky GPP play. If he can get up to like 34 point, like you know, like a, a big Terry Rozier game, I could see it. I, I don't want to grab anybody else though. What we do want to do is go to uh, Houston. Rockets would, in this case, have the third highest implied total. But again, I'm not. I'm only confident with the last three because those are the real lines. Man, the Celtics really limit corner threes. So I'm gonna like Harden. Maybe Nay Nay. So Harden, <clears throat> twelve five on Fanduel, eleven four on DK. Uh, love him on DK, but I would take him in either spot. I don't much care about Boston's defense in this case. It's just there's just not enough guys. I don't want any part of Chris Paul. Uh, especially on FanDuel, 9,800. Not if he's just coming back. Ariza's 5,500, so you would need 25. He's pretty much right there every night unless he goes off. He kind of just, like, defaults himself into that role. He'd probably be getting a lot of Tatum or Brown. He's mostly corner threes, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to avoid a reason, PJ Tucker here. Eric Gordon, 5,800 on both sites. That's uh, probably too expensive for him. Nene, 3,500, so minimum salary on FanDuel, 3,900 on DK. Um, you know, I think it's reasonable to have a few bullets of him, especially on FanDuel at minimum, um, just because he has to play. I mean, even 23 minutes is, is going to be huge for him. Okay. Uh, Mil now, first game with an actual line, uh, Bucks and Timberwolves. Bucks 108 implied total, which would be first on the list. If everything holds, but either way, they look like they're going to be. This game looks like it's going to be a really big game for um, fantasy when we only have five on the slate. Okay, so I think I'd rather have Harden than Giannis. I don't want Middleton, but I do probably want Bledsoe and Brogdon and maybe Snell. So Giannis, 11-9 and 10-9. So I have to look at Giannis on DK. He's too cheap. I like them on both sites. I definitely prefer Harden to Giannis on FanDuel. Um, but I like Giannis a lot on DK. 10-9 is super duper cheap. Um, I don't want Middleton, so I'm going to ignore that. Bledsoe, 7,600 on FanDuel, 71 on DK, so he needs 38. He should be getting like a decent dose of Tyus Jones, which is actually more difficult than Jeff Teague. Mm. 
I'd rather have Brogdon, 5,500 on FanDuel, 4,800 on DK. So he needs like 27. Um, he's had a couple 30-point games recently. But at that price on DK, I love it. So I'm fine with that. I don't think that I'm going to go Bledsoe. Although I probably should. Ah, I'm okay with it. Now to Minnesota, and this is where we'll find the best point guard play of the night. Um, we're not expecting to see Jeff Teague. And if that's the case... We need to be firing, firing up Tyus Jones. And Towns on DK because they refuse to move his price. So, Towns is 10,000 on FanDuel, 8,900 on DK. Um, I need to stretch this all the way down. Yeah. There we go. So, Carl Anthony Towns, 100%. I will have a ginormous piece of him again. Um, you know, Milwaukee sucks in the paint. So, I love all of that. I like him on both sites, but, I mean, on DK, he is amazing. Same for Jimmy Butler. I mean, they're just not updating these prices. I don't care that it's a back-to-back. -back. Butler had 37 or something last night. Monster fantasy game. What did he have last night? So I'm not wrong. So I think they both had huge games. Towns at 47.6. Butler, 53.3. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But the big one, Tyus Jones. 3,600 on FanDuel, 3,400 on DK. You need to have him in almost all of your lineups. He's going to play 30 minutes. If he doesn't hit value, um, the Timberwolves probably lost by 40. I don't want any part of Wiggins or anybody else. I'm just going to load up on Towns, Butler, and Jones. Have to. You can get all three of them on DK for 20000 and still have $30,000 for the other five spots. That's a, you could have a stacked lineup with that. All right, last two games. This one is... Knicks heading to San Antonio. Spurs are 11 and a half point favorites at home. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not good. The Knicks aren't very good. Although they have like decent chances to make the playoffs, which is insane. Okay, not an Aldridge game. I will look at Kawhi. But I'm definitely going to be looking at Danny Green. So, Spurs. No thanks on Aldridge, although he's got a great price on DK. Kawhi Leonard, 7,300 on FanDuel. 6,000 on DK. I wouldn't want him on FanDuel yet. Um... But I get it if you do. Um, but I'm going to run him out on DK. And then Danny Green. has ah, salary's too high. Tony Parker, 4,100. He would need 20. No thanks. That's it for me there. Just Kawhi. Now we'll go to the Spurs, <clears throat> or to the Knicks, excuse me. Knicks, 93.75 implied total, which by all accounts will be the worst on the night. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you're 11.5 point road underdogs. I'll take a look at Zinger. How has Porzingis done against the Spurs in his career? Not too shabby, actually. I don't really have anybody that matches up with him. So I'll look at Zinger. I'll look at Courtney Lee. I'll look at Frankie Smokes. But 
Not expecting much here. Zinger, 92 on FanDuel, 7,900 on DK. Chris Apps, poor Zingus. Every time. There we go. Yeah, gotta have, I mean, on DK, 7,900 is asinine. 48 is uh, 6x, and that wouldn't be terribly shocking. No thanks on Cantor. Courtney Lee, 5,900 on FanDuel, 4,900 on DK. Again, these guys are dk only plays in my opinion there's not a lot to like out there for fanduel and fanduel's pricing has been super tight this year frankie smokes 3700 what does he normally do i don't think he does anything hey 23 yeah i'll, I'll avoid that last game portland trail blazers hosting the philadelphia 76ers um Blazers, three and a half point favorites. We're expecting Lillard to play. I'm hoping that this game just looks like a good CJ McCollum game because I don't want to be tempted into taking Dame. By all accounts, he's not healthy. His hamstring or whatever still is screwing him up. Okay, good. This is a big time CJ McCollum game. Huge, 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 huge on CJ McCollum tonight. I mean, maybe not like huge, 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 but uh, it's a good game for him. 7,100 on FanDuel, 7,000 on DK. Um, sign me up. I'm going to avoid Dame. Is there anybody else that's interesting? Nurkic. Sure, I'll, I'll entertain that. Has been playing less minutes lately. 5,800 on FanDuel. 60... Is that right? Yeah, 6,300 on DK. Holy hell. Um, I like Nur Nurkic, actually, but that'll be just a FanDuel play. Not Murkic. It's not an M, it's an N. And... No thanks on Ed Davis. I don't see anybody else out there that I like. Nah. Finally, we go to Philly. Sixers, 102.5 implied total. Second worst on the night. Um, well, the assumption is everybody's playing, to my knowledge. So, I'm interested to see how this looks. Yeah, a lot of Ben Simmons. Maybe Redick and Embiid. So Ben Simmons. Well, let's start with Embiid. 10-7 on FanDuel, 9-6 on DK. I mean, I'd be crazy to say that I don't like him. I like him on both sites, but I, obviously I love him on DK, 1,100 cheaper. Ben Simmons, 9,000 on FanDuel, 8,700 on DK. Um has not been playing well as of late. Let's look at this chart. Yeah, you can see peaked right around here in the end of November and then he's been on a steady steady downturn. You know, if we smooth that out, not very good lately. The last 3 have all been really poor games. All under a point per uh, possession. But at the same time, I think that this is a decent spot for him. I'm going to pass on Covington and Saric. And I don't necessarily trust Reddick coming back yet. So I think that's probably it. So that would be the short list. At least I hit every position. That usually scares me. So let's throw these into Fantasy Cruncher, and we'll see where we shake out. <sighs> uh, 
Um, we will be back live before lock tonight, 6 o'clock. Finally getting back in the swing of things now that the holidays are over. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun live stream. All right. Don't want that. No variability. Five percent random. I I'd be shocked if this didn't look exactly like I like my short list does. Ish Butler Kawhi. Well, no Sarich, no Covington. I don't like either of those. But Towns Bledsoe Covington. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Well, Ed Davis is going to be showing up a lot too. So I would do Ish. If this were just me setting up a lineup, Ish and Butler, and Towns and Tyus Jones and Embiid, we would end up with uh, no Ed Davis, Reggie, no Reggie Bullock, Biombo. Let's limit that to three per team. Yeah, that looks great. Something like that with Kawhi and Biombo, Courtney Lee. That's an awesome lineup for like a GPP or something. Hmm. Yeah, but going to be a lot of ish, a lot of towns, a lot of Tyus Jones. You just have to. No choice in the matter. And then we'll check out FanDuel. Then I'll let you go. Yeah, I'm excited to do a live stream tonight. It's been like over a week. Those are the most fun parts of the week. I haven't looked at the schedule for the New Year's stretch, so I'm not entirely sure how we'll look for that. Alright, FanDuel now. Optimal is Ish, Tyus, CJ, Wiggins, Butler, Kawhi, Sarich. Tatum and Towns. I mean, really, I would just go pew, pew, nope, pew, and probably pew, and then take whatever this spit out. Yeah. Mm hmm. That looks good. I liked Aldridge on, on uh, FanDuel. That, that's okay to me. I think this looks really good, too. But that's probably my favorite of everything I've seen. I would swap out Covington for someone. But yeah, I'm going to end up with a lot of that Minnesota-Milwaukee game. So I hope that goes well. All right, guys, that's it. Um, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, Patreon, Twitter, whatever, all of these spots. Um, live before lock tonight at 6. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or Twitter or anywhere. Enjoy. Enjoy.